Well, in many homes here in town, you'll find furniture, clothes, and electronics spread out in yards like this one. Now, these are items that were either lost or damaged in the flood that impacted nearly 50 homes in this community. When Diane Hester crawled out of bed early Saturday morning to answer the phone, her neighbors on the other end had big news. The creek behind her house was overflowing. So we jumped up and we were able to get both vehicles out. For the next five hours, Diane and her family watched as the water inched higher and higher until it reached their doorstep. The water eventually rose as high as 18 inches inside her house. And this is all gone. This is all gone. Yeah. Diane lost much of her possessions. Things that weren't lost were damaged, like the dress her daughter planned to wear for her upcoming wedding. However, Diane didn't lose everything. This is my mom and dad and me and my siblings on their 50th anniversary. She managed to save old family photos. It was a Christmas gift for my daughters. Perhaps her greatest joy, finding her 23-year-old Bible. And this laid in the floor in the back room for five hours. There's not one wet page in it. Yeah, this, then I cried again whenever I saw it. it, it it's, my, it's my miracle Bible. Diane says as bad as things are for her, it's nothing compared to what others like those in Moore and Union City are going through. Because a, a tornado, they just destroy everything. At least we've got something to build back to. We've just been blessed. Even, even with the flood, we've been blessed. A blessing in disguise. Now, flood warning continues for a nearby river. That river expected to reach flood stage by Thursday, but only minor flooding is expected. Reporting in Dewar, Brandon Richard, 2 News works for you.